90 day, not super hard, but not easy at all. <laughs> imagine, imagine if I become the most fit and healthy I've wanted to be like literally my whole life. 90 days is three months. months are you kidding me 90 days it's actually been over 90 days i'll show you guys my body and then i'll try to find clips i didn't take too many like befores which was kind of an l so this is your sign to go take some before videos and pictures but here we go i'm so proud of myself i feel like these are very realistic 90 day progress are you kidding me when i flex my arms you can like actually see muscles. Obviously I'm nowhere near where I want to be, but I've committed to this being like a year long transformation, two year, three year, really just a lifestyle change and not a quick fix. So I am so proud of myself. And to celebrate me going to the gym for three months consistently, six days a week, almost every single week. There were some I did four or five, but I'm gonna go to the gym and do leg day. <laughs> so let's go and then we'll talk a little bit after. getting Dutch Bros to celebrate my three months in the gym. Um, can I get a large iced sugar-free vanilla latte? The girl who made my coffee said that she watched me on YouTube but like a while ago. I was like, oh my gosh, hi! I'm back from the gym and I just want to talk to you guys about the last three months, my results in all different areas. So first I just want to show a few more pictures of my results because I'm pretty proud of myself. I was a little disappointed right at the beginning of looking and I was like, wow, I feel like I don't look that much different, but honestly, I do. I've never been able to see these kind of muscles on my body before, so it's kind of crazy. And this is only after three months, so I can't even imagine after six months and then after a year of consistently going to the gym. But anyway, I want to tell you guys what I've been doing, what I've changed, and all the changes that I've seen, and I've split it up into a couple different categories. It feels like I can trust myself and that I know I have discipline and motivation now. It pushes me to want to do even more things that I never thought I could do. So I don't know if you guys have heard of the 12 week year or three months. Basically it's the idea that three months from now you can be a completely different person and if you can plan your life out three months at a time then you can always be progressing. So like changing one thing about yourself and sticking to it for three months. So some of my physical results. The biggest thing is my butt is definitely bigger and this was one of my biggest goals going into it. I've always wanted to have a little bit of a bigger butt and I know a lot of us girls do so I just lifted heavy on leg days on those glute focus days and it is starting to show. My muscles are just a lot more toned in general even though there still is some fat covering up those muscles they're starting to kind of poke through. And as far as weight goes, this is crazy. I focused on weightlifting this entire time and I have not lost or gained a single pound in three months. I am literally the exact same. At first I was really disappointed. Like every time I stepped on the scale, I was just disappointed because nothing was changing. And then I realized I don't care about the scale anymore. So I just started taking pictures. I think that's the best way for me to track. And my goals have changed a lot. I watched a bunch of YouTube videos and a lot of people said that when you're doing body recomposition which is losing fat and gaining muscle at the same time you might stay the same weight but you're gonna look and feel a lot different and be a lot stronger and so that's kind of where my goals ended up going to because I didn't want to just have to do cardio and eat a small amount of calories every single day like I find no joy in that where I love lifting weights so my goals change let's talk about that I no longer care so much about my physique as I did at the beginning and while I still want to look better and slowly progress into that like dream physique that I have have. My goals have changed to be more about I want to lift heavy, I want to genuinely be strong and you know get those PR 
bars and be able to be like, yeah, I can squat this much, I can bench press this much, and I can already do so much more than I could at the beginning. And I want my form to be really good to where nothing hurts when I do it and I can just feel it where I'm supposed to feel it. Over the last three months, I realized that I love the way that I feel and I just overall feel a lot healthier. And so now my goal is to just live a healthier, balanced lifestyle and not care so much about my body because I feel like find struggles with focusing too much on the way that I look. And so I really never even take progress pictures anymore. I slowly stopped doing it like once a week and now I'm probably just gonna do it like once a month just so I can remind myself that I am making progress. But I track my progress and how much I'm lifting now. I wanna know that I'm getting stronger. I now also work out because I wanna have more energy. The days that I go to the gym, I have a lot more energy throughout the day and I feel like I'm more balanced emotionally throughout the day as well. So that's kind of just like overall health. I also want to work out because it makes me feel really accomplished. I love being able to check something off at the beginning of the day. That's difficult. And my main goal is to just live a healthier lifestyle. Okay, now I had a little bit of a mental shift. One, I am much happier. And maybe happy isn't the right word, but a lot more content throughout the day. This has like somewhat to do with the gym and somewhat to do with the fact that I've also been reading my Bible every day and growing my relationship with God that's like mostly where I can be the most content but going to the gym helps get those emotions out because we as people are going to have feelings and emotions but we can't let our feelings guide us in life and control us so when I'm angry sad upset whatever going to the gym helps get those out or even if I'm not it kind of sometimes will prevent me from having those feelings because I can just pump them out right at the beginning of the day at the gym uh, like I said I also just have a lot more energy not only physically but mentally as well like I'm ready I'm on top of it, it kind of like wakes my brain up for the day. My mind and body are like more connected. I don't really know how to explain. I just feel really good about myself in general. Some other random things that have changed is at the beginning of this, I had to force myself to go to the gym and having a gym partner be like, you don't want to go today, but we need to go today. Let's go. Now, I don't care if anyone else is going with me. I don't care where I am. I don't care what's going on. I want to go to the gym. I look forward to my time at the gym. And there's only been a couple days where I genuinely could couldn't go because I was so busy. I guess I could have woke up at like 6 a.m. But I do not do that. And I was sad because I didn't get to go to the gym. I just love being able to be active and go out, lift weights, or even go on a walk. I just love being active now. It's also crazy because I've gained so much confidence. Not only confidence like at the gym, being able to talk to people there, talk to the workers, whatever, but also just confidence in general to, you know, kind of wear what I want, not feel so like I'm thinking about the way that I look so much. I just feel really confident in my own skin and in my own body. This might be the first time in my life I've genuinely felt so confident. It's not even that I look like a million times better. Like they really are, I feel like kind of small differences over the three months physically, but mentally I'm so confident. And also I recognize people at the gym now, which is weird because I've never been in a position in my life where I am like, yep, I know that person's always at the gym and I know these workers and they recognize me and they're always like, welcome back. That just feels really cool to be like a regular somewhere and to wrap up I just want to say that three months in the long run is like nothing it's like a dot on a piece of paper because I want to be doing this for the rest of my life um, I think it's important to pace yourself to not go super hard a little bit at a time not trying to hurt myself strain myself I started making stretching a huge priority I do mobility stretching which has caused me to have deeper squats and just overall better lifts better motion without it hurting and then I've started doing uh, just static stretching stretching at the end to you know get those tense muscles relaxed also not paying too much attention to any specific body part and just being able to work out my whole body throughout the week balance and pacing yourself are so important so nutrition is a huge part if you want to be able to lose fat and gain muscle and that's always been a really big struggle for me eating is really inconvenient I feel like a lot of people relate to this but it's like well what if everyone's going to a restaurant I've been slowly kind of trying to switch to eating at home more and buying healthier foods at the store and I just think it's about balance because I'm not gonna turn down going and getting a cookie monster at Cheddar's with my friends because I really want to look a certain way I think it's all about balance and I think I'm doing a pretty good job of it so far if I wanted to see results faster I probably could cut down on some things but I hate the idea of saying I can't have that I think that's a bad mindset so instead of saying I can't have any cookies I might have like one cookie or half a cookie I just know I don't need five cookies so that's been my last three months of fitness I feel like the first couple months and probably this whole first year is just gonna be learning learning how my body works learning what works for me what my goals are so if you're just now getting started into fitness this is your 
your sign to be balanced, slow down, take off the pressure, focus on those actual workouts and getting joy out of it. You don't have to go run four miles if you really hate running. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I still can't believe that I actually have been doing this for three months and that I'm gonna keep doing it. Like, who am I? I don't even know who this person is anymore and that's why I feel like the three month year thing is so unbelievably true. So you could start today, just commit to changing yourself over the next three months in whatever aspect you choose to. So that's my three month transformation. I hope you guys enjoyed it and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.